Welcome, I'm from is Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with a welcome screen where you simply just get to tap on the arrow and then select your language. Now for me it's already selected with the language that I want. So all I need to do now is tap on next. Then we have connect to mobile network. So at this step you can insert your SIM card if you choose to or completely skip this and disregard this step for now. Then we have check out some of our basically user agreements. Uh, that's what it should say. So key thing to keep in mind, we need to select this one. So end user license agreement. Other, well, basically the rest is optional as you can see. So sending, uh, sending of diagnostic data, uh, information linking, you don't have to select this if you don't want to but you can also tap on the details read this and if you want it you can select it all you want it so from here let's tap on next and then we can connect to Wi-Fi now this step is again optional as you can see right here and if you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi you can completely skip it I understand that some people might not have Wi-Fi network accessible right at the moment where they uh, where they are setting up the phone so if you don't want you can skip it. Now the only thing you will skip by well, skipping connecting to Wi-Fi is uh, later on throughout the setup we can sign into a Google account and restore the device from an old backup that is located on the Google Cloud. Which you can still do after the setup is complete just through settings. And as you can see copy apps and data. So this would be from a phone to phone. You have to have your phone uh, with all data and you just connect them together and it will copy the data. So I'm gonna skip it for now. I'm setting it up as new anyway, so it doesn't really matter here. We have Google services, um, use location, scanning, and send user and diagnostic, diagnostic data. So again, this one repeats. Um, so you can disable it if you don't want it. Um, use loca location. I can tap on it also to expand it and read what it does. So Google location services use uh, sources like Wi-Fi, mobile network and sensors to help estimate your device's location, basically GPS tracking. Now this is used uh, also uh, for things like Google Maps and certain apps that require your loca location. And if you disable this, those apps will then later on when you're trying to launch them, tell you that you need to turn it on, otherwise the app won't work. So even if you disable this, some apps might require it to be enabled anyway. Now it's a simple enable or disable through just a notification panel. So that's up on accept now. And from here, protect your phone. So we can set up a couple different ways of protecting our device, like face recognition, fingerprint, or also pin pattern password. So I'm gonna go with, for instance, fingerprint. Now, which, uh, if you choose finger, fingerprint or face recognition or both of them, you will still need to choose a pin pattern or password. So let's tap on continue. As you can see, there we go. So I'm gonna go with the pattern. There we go, confirm it. And now I can scan my finger. There we go. I want to get a fairly good read of your entire finger all around, so get every edge, middle of it. And there we go. As you can see, we're now done adding the fingerprint. So let's tap on next. And it just progresses further. Then we have signed into your Samsung account. Now this step is completely optional. Again, you can skip this if you don't want to. Um, benefit of having the Samsung account or logging into it uh, is, as you can see, listed basically all right here. So you have access to uh, Bixby, uh, Galaxy Store, uh, their Google Cloud, or not Google Cloud, but um, they're just cloud overall storage. Uh, some pass, which I believe it's for payment and secure folder along with find my device. So you can log in. If you don't have an account, you can create one right over here, uh, but I'm gonna choose to skip it. As you can see, it pops out again, so the Samsung Cloud, Bixby, Galaxy, Themes, Find My Device, uh, Samsung Pass, Galaxy Store, and Secure Folder. I'm gonna skip it anyway. And then we're all done. Finish. And there we go. So that is how you'd go to the setup process of the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.